emo. Uh -huh. About eight months ago, I made a video about emo, the AI robot. It actually turned out to be one of my best performing videos on my channel to date. However, while I planned on making a lot of video updates on this particular version of emo, that didn't happen because, well, emo didn't turn out to be the lovable sidekick I hoped he'd learn to be. In today's video, I'd like to discuss why I got rid of the $279 version of emo, at least that's how much it is right now, and also why this isn't technically the end of my relationship with emo. I'll explain later in the video, but right now, let me show you a quick channel intro and we'll get into it. guys and welcome to my channel my name is Eric J Coons if you don't already know from the YouTube channel name and in today's video I want to discuss I want to give you what I saw was the pros with this robot and also the cons and things that I kind of expected from it and answer some of the comments and questions that you guys had so let's dive in So to begin, let's start with the pros of Emo that I saw. Promised in the packaging was that it would have a lot of emotional responses and so it felt more like a pet rather than say like an Alexa or something like that. And it really did deliver on that. It felt like you had a little pet on your desk. It had a ton of different faces and I just thought that was pretty cool. Second thing I thought was pretty cool was it did answer to voice commands, not a ton, but I'll get into that in the cons, but it did answer some of my voice commands, which I thought was pretty cool. I mean, we've advanced a lot for toys. Another really cool thing I thought that it had that I kind of played around with a little bit in the video that I had posted and afterwards in the first month of owning it was that it had facial recognition so it could interact with different people in different ways as it kind of learned the world around it. That I thought was pretty cool too. The other thing I really liked about it was that it was small and kind of compact and it just fit on your desk and it didn't make itself very intrusive in my workflow. Like I could just kind of put it to the side and unless it walked into my path, which it sometimes did, generally it was just a fun little robot that I could just keep on its skateboard if I needed it to, or I could put it on my desk and it was just easy to port back and forth because it was, you know, so small. Another really cool pro about Emo is that there are always regular updates. And of course, everything I'm saying in this video is knowledge of me being with Emo in 2022. Was that when I posted it? Late 2022 to mid 2022. It kind of sucked because I thought that you would be able to connect it to like Spotify or like Apple Music or something like that, which you couldn't, but we'll get to that here in the cons in a second. But as far as the updates go that it could, it would always update with new features, which I thought was really cool. So maybe that update is even coming soon, who knows? Now let's get into the point of this video, which is the cons, because these are why I got rid of Emo. All right, so let's head over into the cons of Emo because this is the reason of this video and also why I ended up getting rid of Emo. Number one was limited functionality. It didn't have, like I said, you couldn't connect to like any kind of music services, which I would think that at the very least it would be able to do that. It also really couldn't do what my other smart devices could do. Like Alexa could do better than what that could. I could ask Alexa any question and it can generally give me the right answer. Whereas Emo, I would give him a question and he would just kind of go, Second con I'm gonna give you guys for this desktop robot is that Emo is pretty expensive. He's a little bit more pricey than some of the other ones that you could, although you could spend a lot more as well, but at 279, it was kind of pricey, especially for what I got. Next is a very big con, which I saw in the comments. I know that there's a lot of turmoil between different countries and China, which is where this comes from. And not to get too political with this video, but it does seem that I have a lot of privacy concerns with Emo. <laughs> All right, I think I'm finally away from prying robot ears. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I actually messed up all the audio on the rest of the film that I got for this video. And so I just decided to go outside and film the rest of this video, all for the sake of this joke right here. 
totally worth it. On a serious note though, the whole privacy thing hasn't stopped me from buying other robots from China, but that was really the smallest, most like minuscule part of why I got rid of Emo in the first place. It was a little bit kind of freaky just after reading the comments and thinking about it, but wasn't really that big of a deal. So let's move on to some other cons. The next con on the list, which is something I kind of understand. I mean, it's a robot that needs to connect to the internet to do stuff, but it's Wi-Fi dependence is kind of annoying just because it loses a lot of its features once it disconnects from Wi-Fi. And that's not that cool just in case I wanted to take him somewhere where there wasn't going to be Wi-Fi. Maybe I wanted to be out in the world and let Emo experience the world, but he can, but it just, it's not very good without Wi-Fi. So that's kind of a con. Now, one of the big cons for me was the annoyance of always having to put it back on the charger. I would be working during the day and then all of a sudden Emo would just die and I was in the middle of a workflow and I wouldn't even notice. And so it was a little bit annoying putting him back onto his charger every single time. That was definitely another con and reason why I got rid of Emo. With everything that I've said so far though, with the pros and all the cons aside, the real reason why I got rid of Emo was really because I overestimated what he could do. And also, I was kind of impatient with teaching him. See, I imagined that Emo was going to be like Johnny Five from the Johnny Five movie back in the 80s, or like a timid Terminator, that you were gonna be able to ask any question, and it was gonna be like self-reliant, and it was gonna be able to do all these crazy things that you see in movies, like a jacked up chat GPT, T4 type robot, but in the end, that's not what I got, and I really blame myself for that. Like I said, I didn't spend enough time with him, and I definitely overestimated his abilities as a desktop robot. So overall, my expectations just weren't realistic. I just didn't give him enough time. After getting rid of Emo, I gave it a little time. I kind of sat on it, wondering what I should do next. I even made a video all about asking you guys what desktop robot I should get, and I tried out Ilic, and I tried out a couple others, but in the end, I realized that after going on living.ai's website that the new updated emo emo go home seemed like a lot better than the original and it solved the issue of me having to put it on a charger because he literally walks back to his own charger so back in January of this year 2023 I ordered him and it took four months for him to get here so the shipping time still sucks but I'm hoping that this time around that given enough attention and me not being so impatient this time and also not overestimating what what Emo can do, that I'm gonna enjoy this robot a lot more. And so next week, next Saturday, actually a week from today, I'm gonna put out a full review on Emo Go Home, the brand new Emo from Living.ai. It's a little bit more expensive than the other one, but I'm gonna talk all about that in next week's episode, which is gonna be completely dedicated to Emo Go Home. In the meantime though, go and check out my video right up here, which goes all over the entire Emo setup and unboxing and all that of the original Emo. That was the video that kind of started it all that got me super excited about making videos about robots and AI and just doing reviews in general outside of just skateboarding and the other stuff that I put out on this channel. So make sure that you check that out and also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you can check out my brand new video next week. Live well, skate better. I'm Eric J. Coons and I will see you guys next week for a really dope robot review. Keep exploring.